Let's talk a little Pac-12 right quick. And good Lord, what happened to USC last night was like almost almost what we expected. Oregon State 45, USC 27. And, man, they could not stop Jonathan Smith's offense. And, nope. and it wasn't like passing. It wasn't anything fluky or anything like that. Rushing. 51 rushes, 30 or 322 yards. That's 6.3 a clip, and they had two touchdowns rushing. Chance Nolan, 15 out of 19 passing for 213 yards and four touchdowns. USC could do nothing against this offense. And, I mean, that's it. Hold on. What's my note? First Beavers win in the Coliseum since 1961. It, Josh Pate always calls it a renaissance season. It is. 2021 has 2007 vibes all over it. it, it weird Saturday. How do, how'd you feel about USC? I think USC is a bad football team. I think USC should have lost the week beforehand when they were down 14 nothing, and my boy Nick Rolovich just completely let me down and uh, crushed my soul. He went up against another well-coached football team, but not very talented, and – I think when they play well-coached teams, I think they're going to struggle to win games because I don't think they're coached very well. And and I I think there's very few people that are going to have better talent than USC. But for some reason, talent doesn't seem to matter when the other side of the ball is better coached than you. They're just getting the hell beat out of them by guys that can out-scheme the shit out of them. Yes. Yes, 100%. This is – I will tell you why well, this and, is good. In this game, Slovis came back because uh, Dart, was hurt. Yep. And Dart didn't get to play. Hey, the defenses have figured out Slovis, by the way. When I, was, I was just about to say, I, I I would have liked my I would have liked my my Wazoo pick last week had Slovis stayed in the game. The worst thing that Wazoo did was knock Slovis out of the game. Yeah, and Jackson Dart, of course, comes in, but now Dart's out for at three, four, or five weeks, however long it is. Yeah, he'll, with he'll Slovis in, this once again. This ain't the last loss they're going to suffer. Oh, you, USC you're right. USC is going to lose a bunch. So that's what I was going to say about this is I actually think this was good because there was a lot of momentum around this interim coach, and obviously USC has been down that road before. I don't think that they would have done it. I was but. just about to say there's zero chance they make that move. Can we can we talk about something here? At some point in time, you got a guy like B.J. Baylor who runs his ass off and he finishes a game like this with zero touchdowns, you have to let him get some red zone touches so he can taste what the end zone's like. You have to reward that kind of effort. You can't just keep pulling him every time you get to the goal line and put somebody else in. Yeah, I I tend to agree with you. Um, That stuff bothers. Like, I understand it as, as part of your game plan. But at some point in time, you're beating the shit out of a team, and your and your running back is carrying you, carrying you. Twenty three carries, yeah, one hundred fifty eight yards, uh, average and no 6.9 touchdowns. He had he had like nine yards for catching. I mean, but like get him in the damn end zone. You can yeah. let him run some of those in too. He's he's absolutely broke the will of the other team you're playing against. Let's uh, let's let him get a taste of glory as well. Larry Pilgrim said USC is West Coast Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and Brown Yeti said yes, one hundred percent. Yeah, I, yes, I could, I could totally see that. Now, I think Texas is on the up and up, um, and we'll we'll talk about them in just a second, but because uh, we're going to rapid fire a few of these, but yeah, one hundred percent. Matt Miller said, except the Pac twelve doesn't have an Oklahoma. Uh, Oregon could be. Now they didn't play well last night, but Oregon uh, could be the Oklahoma I, here. I don't, I don't think, I don't think the Big Twelve has an Oklahoma either. <laughs> not, not this year. Not this year. Again, renaissance season, my friend, as as Josh Pate would say. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.